How will Andrea handle losing her sister? How will the camp make sure something like this never happens again? Today, we're going to find out all that and more. My name's Grant, this is NMD Movies, and we're watching season one, episode five of The Walking Dead for the first time. Now, if you wanna see the full unedited version, make sure you check me out on Patreon where you can get that exclusive content and get the videos earlier. Now, I've been really liking this show and last episode was my favorite so far. Let's see if episode five of The Walking Dead can top it. You're watching NMD Movies, let's get it. Morgan, I don't know if you're out there. I don't know if you can hear me. Maybe you're listening right now. Run if you are, run. My wife and son, they're alive. I wanted you to know that. Atlanta isn't what we thought. Do not enter the city. It belongs to the dead now. And other people. We're camped a few miles northwest up by a big abandoned rock quarry. You can see it on a map. I hope you come find us, but be careful. Last night, walkers came out of the woods. From everywhere. We lost people. A lot of people. Watch yourself, Morgan. Take care of your boy. I'll try you again tomorrow at dawn. Hey, Rick is a man of his word. He said he was going to do it, and he's doing it. Morgan could be dead. Morgan could not even be there, but he's still doing it. That tells you the type of character we're dealing with with Rick. She's gone. And you got to let us take her. And I promise we'll be as, as gentle as we can. Andrea may go crazy. You never know how she's going to take this loss. <laughs> and then just got to burn him right in front of everybody, too. Andrea. I know how the safety works. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. You can't tell people how to mourn. You can't tell people how to deal with a loss. Especially when you got all your family there. Because she's pro all that is probably going through her mind. Why me? Why my sister? Our people go over there. It's a death. It's wrong. <sighs> our people go in that row over there. We don't burn them! We bury them. Understand? There's a difference. I feel you on that. There's a difference. Y'all left my brother for dead! You had this coming! I, I forgot about Merle. I forgot about him. Are you bleeding? I just got some on me. That blood's fresh. <sighs> Were you bit? Oh, hold on now. Oh. <sighs> don't tell. Please. A walker got it. A walker bit Jim! Man, she snitched on him too. Oh, day. How she go stop me? I don't blame her. I'm okay. I'm okay. Golly, Jim. Hey, I'm okay. I'm okay. One thing after another. I said we put a pickaxe in his head and the dead girls will be done with it. That what you'd want? If it were you? Yeah, and I'd thank you why you did it. Thought I would, but maybe Daryl's right. Hey, hey, he's not yet, not yet. Zero tolerance for walkers. I heard the CDC was working on a cure. I heard that too. Heard a lot of things before the world went to hell. We heard Atlanta was gonna be okay. Protect the CDC at all costs, wouldn't they? I think it's our best shot. Fort Benning. That's a hundred miles in the opposite direction. That is right, but it's away from the hot zone. Now listen to me. If that place is operational, be heavily armed. They got overrun. We've all seen that. The CDC's our best choice and Jim's only chance. Uh-oh, you got a pick. Take care of this damn hey, problem. Hey, hey, We don't kill the living. Hey, 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 that boy Rick was- Funny, coming from a man who just put a gun to my head. We may disagree on some things, not on this. Put that ax down. I like your aggression. I like you want to get the job done, but we got to think about this. We can't just go taking out our own people. But you already see now the group's going to be split up. Do you want to go to Fort Benny or do you want to go to the CDC? I say go to Fort Benny because everybody's going to want to go to the CDC. I want to go somewhere where there's not going to be a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of protection possible medication i ever mentioned how i lost my wife 
cancer, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I dragged her to every doctor, every... She was ready. I felt so cheated. Since she passed, you girls were the first people that I cared anything for. Oh. Dale got the right words to say. She didn't even let Rick get a word out. Her birthday was always like him, but I somehow always missed it. You know, things are hard enough for you without adding guilt into the mix, huh? That's the, uh... I'll do it. He's my husband. She may get a, she may want to do this because he wasn't a good one. <laughs> God, what an angle. <laughs> that's enough that's enough oh my god they got it all on the camera and everything come on man stop her <laughs> r.i.p amy oh man she gonna come back as a zombie as a geek amy this reminds me of Pet Cemetery. Oh my God. I'm sorry. She's about to attack her. I always thought there'd be more time. I'm here. I love you. I'm thinking if you'd have stayed here, if you'd have looked after your own, instead you went off, you took half our manpower with you. Maybe our losses wouldn't have been so bad. You had him over there doing kumbaya. We did. I think our losses would have been a lot worse. Preach. Maybe the entire camp. Preach. You had him over there uh, eating a fish buffet, singing show tunes, talking about the watch. Instead of having somebody on lookout. It's a mistake, not burning these bodies. That's what we said we'd do, right? Burn them all. The Chinaman gets all emotional. Says it's not the thing to do, we just follow him along. These people need to know who the hell's in charge here. Facts. What There's the true. rules are. There are no rules. Facts. Well, that's a problem. Facts. Ourselves. We need time to mourn. And we need to bury our dead. That's what people do. I agree with that, but we need a set of rules. Every time the rule is changing, it's Shane wants this, Rick wants this, Daryl wants this. We need a set of rules. I think it should be a committee. You three guys and you all three vote. Majority wins. Because this wish you... This wishy-washy stuff ain't gonna ain't gonna be able to keep up. Oh, uh, yeah, he about to turn into a zombie. Get him up out of here. He gotta go. And he affecting the whole RV camper and everything. I can do it. I can do it. I think Andrea gonna be a strong person for this group. Shane blames me for not being here. You. We ain't got time for the blame game. We got guns now. We're stronger. And we have fewer people. That makes us weaker. Do you want me to say I think you were right? And I understand that. All I can say is that neither one of you was entirely wrong. It's the best I can do right now. Oh, no. What about the CDC? Rick. We're at the ragged edge here. We need relief, and we we, we got a sick man who needs help. I, I don't know why people can't see that. Tell me something with certainty. I love you. That's, that's, that's all I got. I love you too. Love can take you a lot of places. Love, love can keep us together. But you can't tell me that fixing your marriage is worth putting people's lives at risk. And folks around here can make up their minds without bringing my marriage into it. It's a habit you need to break. Mm. Real quick. I guess I'll just add it to the list of habits that I'm breaking. 
whether I like it or not. Mm. Like brushing your back in the woods. What habits? <laughs> just talking about my need for a plan, man. So what is it? We leaving or not? Maybe I just want to stay here. We could hang some more tin cans. Mm. What happened, Shane? Let's go do our sweep. I got to do what's best for my family. That's for your family. Preaching. What's that, exposing them all kinds of risk? As opposed to what? Why can't you back me up? Uh, if it was your family, you'd feel differently. Ooh. Ooh. What'd you say to me? I kept them safe, man. I looked after them. They were, no, they were my own. That's what I did, man. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. Well, how'd you mean it? How'd you mean it, Rick? Talk to him now. You know I can never repay that debt, okay? It's a lot going on right now. It's a lot going on. Boy, I'm loving this acting. Woo! Come on now. Come on now. This man losing his mind. What the hell wrong with you? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. What the hell wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> Gonna have to start wearing reflective vests out here. Seriously. Come on, man. Let's go. Uh, I'm out here. Oh my God, this man, Dale. Oh my God. See, Dale, he does a good job of observing. He just, he just watching people, just watching people, and just popped up on that boy Shane. No guarantees. Either way, I'll be the first one to admit that. I've known this man a long time. I trust his instincts. I say the most important thing here is we need to stay together. Those of you that agree, we leave first thing in the morning. Hmm. Leaving the quarry. I'm leaving a note and map behind for you. I hope you were right about that place. Whether you go and you're walking or you're staying put, you're in danger either way. We're not going. Golly. We have family in Birmingham. We want to be with our people. You on your own, you don't have anyone to watch your back. We'll take the chance. I gotta do what's best for my family. That's true. You sure. We talked about it. Yeah, you ain't gonna last, dude. Box is half full. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm staying with the group. If I go down, everybody going down with me. Come on. Let's go. Let's move out. I'd rather be with people with guns than me only have one gun. Morgan, going to the CDZ, CDC, this area is not safe, Rick. I think it's smart that they get out. Rather they make it to the CDC or they get held up somewhere else. I mean, look at all that. You can't even put up a perimeter. Can you jerry rig it? That's all it's been so far. It's more duct tape than home. Golly. Jim, it's bad. I don't think he can take any more. I'm sorry, but this ride's killing me. Leave me here. I want to be with my family. Damn. I don't think you know what you're asking. I know what I'm asking. I want this. Leave me here. Mm. Yeah, make sure you tell everybody so Rick isn't the bad guy. Not your failure. I was just going to suggest that we ask Jim what he wants. I think we have an answer. I mean, you know it doesn't need to be this. No, oh, breeze feels nice. I'm sorry I snitched on you. 
You'll need it. So sad that these kids have to deal with this too, you know? They got to see a guy giving up his life and all that stuff. Jenner here. Stay 194 since wildfire was declared. And 63 days since the disease abruptly went global. There's no clinical progress. What the hell is this? Too bad I never studied engineering. Could have saved a lot of amps. Item. Living on the ground doesn't help. Not knowing if it's day or night. I'm just feeling very off kilter these days. Is this how the it started? Wildfire ending transmission. I had to I had to toggle to make sure Netflix didn't change the episode on me. CDC. Okay, okay. He the CDC man. Center for Control Disease. So he got him a nice little bunker. No! Damn. Deep contamination. Contamination complete. Deep contamination complete. Useless, dead flesh. I bet there isn't a single son of a bitch out there still listening, is there? I am. NMD movies, we're watching. I think tomorrow I'm gonna blow my brains out. Brother! I haven't decided. But tonight, I'm getting drunk. Damn, he the only one up in there. He got all that space, all that technology in a bottle of wine. Y'all help me out, but I thought the RV got broke. Oh, come on. Stay quiet. I thought the RV got broke. What happened? Let me know in the comments, please. No. There's nobody here. Then why are these shutters down? Mm. It was a wrong damn shut, shut up. up! You hear me? Shut up! Shut up! Rick, this is a dead end. Where are we gonna go? Do you hear me? No blame. She's right, we can't be this close to the city after dark. Fort Benny, Rick's still an option. On what? No food, no fuel, it's 100 miles. 125, I struck the map. Forget Fort Benny, we need- Y'all gotta calm down! The camera, it moved. You imagined it. <laughs> They'll say you imagined it. Yeah, no, come here. Just, 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 no, just, just go away. Just, just look at me. Hey, man, look around this place. Let them in. Let them in. Please, oh, we're now. desperate. No. Please help us. We have women, children. You don't get to see. You don't get any guns. Please. Come on, brother. Let them in there. You're lonely. You're by yourself. <laughs> come on, brother. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! You're killing us! You're killing us! You're killing We got women! We got children! If you don't let us in, you're killing us! Rick, we gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta I'm loving this show. I am loving this show. Now let's talk about what we need, okay? This is this is coming from from the heart, right? First of all, R.I.P. Amy, R.I.P. Jimbo. I'm sorry. And uh most likely R.I.P. to the family who decide to go off on their own. Anytime that happens in the show, it never ends up good. We need rules and protocol because right now we are one minute. We're doing it this way. The next minute we're doing it this way. 
One minute we burn bodies, the next minute we don't burn bodies. Next minute somebody's got a a, a, a cut. Do we kill them or don't we kill them? We need rules and protocol. I'm gonna say it one more time. Daryl, Rick, and Shane, y'all need to be like the tribe. Y'all vote. Y'all hear people out and y'all vote. I would say add Dale, but then you start to get to too many people and you can get an even number. We need three people and we need majority rules because right now letting Shane and Rick and sometimes Daryl, it's never going to work out because these two are butting heads. They love the same woman. You heard what he said. He said, what do you mean habits? Ooh, this episode had so much. Now we got the CDC man. What's his story? Why didn't, uh, I was about to say, why didn't he open it right away? But I understand why he didn't. Why would he? He has that whole place to himself and y'all knocking on the door. Y'all could be bad people. He ended up opening the door. Now we get to figure out his story, but it seemed like he was going crazy uh, by himself. Now you have company. I have been telling Rick and Shane, I've been telling them we need to get shelter in a perimeter. Now we have a, a, a building that's locked down. We have wine. Look, eventually, yeah, we are going to run out of food, but you can slowly, early in, early in the morning, undo the, the little doors, let them out. Right now, we made it. And um, let's see, Daryl, soon as it looked like it wasn't going to work out, y'all was throwing it in Rick's face. It ain't going to work out. You saw uh, Shane, we can go to Fort Benning. The CDC looks like it's working out. Look like we got shelter. We got to figure out if this scientist is crazy or not. If he's crazy, just take him out and we can take over the building. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I can't wait to get the next episode out. I'm out. Peace.